the 1990s didn't spend an entire summer afternoon trying to defeat a large spiky turtle as an Italian plumber. Come on, you remember Super Mario Brothers. How did we evaluate how good our hands were as kids? It was playing Nintendo and seeing who was the best in the block at being able to beat Mario quickly. University of Maryland mechanical engineering professor Dr. Ryan Sokol's hands once used to beat Mario levels. Nowadays, those hands design robot technologies. Not those clunky metal machines like Johnny Five, but soft robotics of the future. Soft robots instead are made of flexible and soft materials and they are controlled instead using fluids like water and air. To show where that technology can go, Sokol and his team built a soft robotic hand from a 3D printer. When I thought about the soft robot and we thought about what is a really challenging way to evaluate the performance, immediately my mind went to Super Mario Brothers. Because it's not just 90s nostalgia, it's actually a good challenge for this robot. And here's how it worked. A computer program pumps air through the fingers of the robot. So you connect the pressure here, and then the computer is basically just increasing and decreasing that pressure. That pressure determines whether Mario walks, runs, or jumps. Instead of a young Ryan Sokol beating the first level of Mario, this time it was his robot hand finishing in 90 seconds. The soft robotic hand is slower than I was as a kid, but it certainly doesn't die as much. As fun as it is, the end goal here isn't to save Princess Peach. Sokol and his team want their robots to grow up and go to med school. Hopefully one day they'll be surgery tools and medical devices. We have these soft, flexible types of surgical tools that have better safety and are able to interact with delicate objects like our tissues and our arteries. Dr. Sokol thinks these soft robots could one day change the face of medicine. He just needed them to beat Bowser first. I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.